Elba. Elba, ancient Greek, Alpha Theta Alpha Lambda Alpha, Eighth Alia, is a Mediterranean island in Tuscany, Italy, from the coastal town of Piombino, and the largest island of the Tuscan archipelago. It is also part of the Archipelago Toscano National Park, and the third largest island in Italy. After Sicily and Sardinia. It is located in the Tyrrhenian Sea about east of the French island of Corsica. The island is part of the province of Livorno and is divided into seven municipalities, with a total population of about 30,000 inhabitants, which increases considerably during the summer. The municipalities are Porto Ferio, which is also the island's principal town, Campo Nell'Alba, Capalaveri, Marciana, Marciana Marina, Porto Azuro, and Rio. Elba is the largest remaining stretch of land from the ancient track that once connected the Italian peninsula to Corsica. The northern coast faces the Ligurian Sea, the eastern coast the Piombino Channel, the southern coast the Tyrrhenian Sea, and the Corsica Channel divides the western tip of the island from neighboring Corsica. The island itself is made up of slices of rocks which once formed part of the ancient Tethian seafloor. These rocks have been through at least two orogenies, the Alpine orogeny and the Apennine orogeny. The second of these two events was associated with subduction of the Tethian oceanic crust underneath Italy and the abduction of parts of the ancient seafloor onto the continents. Later extension within the stretched inner part of the Apennine Mountains caused adiabatic melting and the intrusion of the Mount Capan and the Los Aeroporto at Zero Granitoids. These igneous bodies brought with them scarred fluids which dissolved and replaced some of the carbonate units, precipitating iron rich minerals in their place. One of the iron rich minerals, ilvate, was first identified on the island and takes its name from the Latin word for Elba. More recently, high angle faults formed within the tectonic pile, allowing for the migration of iron-rich fluids through the crust. The deposits left behind by these fluids formed the island's rich seams of iron ore. The terrain is quite varied, and is thus divided into several areas based on geomorphology. The mountainous and most recent part of the island can be found to the west, the center of which is dominated by Mount Capan also called the roof of the Tuscan archipelago. The mountain is home to many animal species including the mouflon and wild boar, two species that flourish despite the continuous influx of tourists. The central part of the island is a mostly flat section with the width being reduced to just 4 kilometers. It is where the major centers can be found, Porto Ferreo, Campo Nell'Alba. To the east is the oldest part of the island, formed over 3 million years ago. In the hilly area, dominated by Monte Calamita, are the deposits of iron that made Elba famous. Rivers rarely exceed in length, and it is common for the shorter ones to dry up during the summer. The largest rivers, sorted by length, are Between Poggio and Marciana, at the foot of Mount Capan, is a spring called Fontana Polione, known for its quality. The climate of the island is predominantly Mediterranean, except for Mount Capan where winters tend to be moderately cold. Precipitation is concentrated in autumn and comprises a normal rainfall. The island lies in the rain shadow of the large and mountainous island of Corsica, so precipitation totals are somewhat reduced from the mainland. Most of the island receives less than 750 mm, 30 inches, annually. Snowfall in winter is rare in the lowlands, and melts quickly. The table below shows the average temperatures for the islands by month. The island was originally inhabited by Ligures Ilvates, who gave it the ancient name Ilva. It was well known from very ancient times for its iron resources and valued mines. The Greeks called it Ethelia, Alpha Iota Theta Alpha Lambda Alpha, Fume, after the fumes of the metal-producing furnaces. Apollonius of Rhodes mentions it in his epic poem Argonautica, describing that the Argonauts rested here during their travels. He writes that signs of their visit were still visible in his day including skin-colored pebbles that they dried their hands on and large stones which they used at discus. Strabo, 5.2.6, presents a slightly different account, because the scrapings, which the Argonauts formed when they used their strigils, became congealed, the pebbles on the shore remain variegated still to this day. The island was invaded by the Etruscans and later, after 480 BC, by the Romans. In the Middle Ages, it was invaded by the Ostrogoths and the Lombards, and then it became a possession of the Republic of Pisa. After the Battle of Maloria, the Republic of Genova took possession of Elba, but it was regained by Pisa in 1292. The island was retained for two centuries by the Appiani family, lords of Piombino, when they sold Pisa to the House of Visconti of Milan in 1399. In 1544, 
the Barbary pirates from North Africa devastated Elba and the coasts of Tuscany. In 1546, part of the island was handed over to Cosimo I de' Medici, Grand Duke of Tuscany, who fortified Porto Ferreo and renamed it Cosmopoli, while the rest of the island was returned to the Appiani in 1577. In 1596, Philip II of Spain captured Porto Azuro and had two fortresses built there. A part of Elba came into the power of the Kingdom of Naples through the state of the Presidi, including Porto Longon. In 1736, the whole of Elba, with the Principality of Piombino, passed under the jurisdiction of Kingdom of Naples. The British landed on the island of Elba in 1796, after the occupation of Livorno by the French Republican troops, to protect the 4,000 French royalists who had found asylum in Porto Ferreo two years earlier. In 1801, the Peace of Luneville gave Elba to the Kingdom of Etruria, and it was transferred to France in 1802 by the Peace of Amiens. The French Emperor Napoleon was exiled to Elba, after his forced abdication following the Treaty of Fontainebleau, 1814, and he arrived at Porto Ferreo on 30 May 1814. He was allowed to keep a personal guard of 600 men and was nominally sovereign of Elba, although the nearby sea was patrolled by the French and British navies. During the months that he stayed on the island, Napoleon carried out a series of economic and social reforms to improve the quality of life. After staying on for 300 days, he escaped to France on February 26, 1815. At the Congress of Vienna, Elba was restored to the Grand Duchy of Tuscany. In 1860, it became part of the new unified Kingdom of Italy. The island was liberated from the Germans by the French One Corps d'Armée on June 17, 1944 in Operation Brassard. Faulty intelligence and strong defenses made the battle more difficult than expected. More recently, the island has become famed for its wine and is a noted tourist destination. The island is connected to the mainland via the four ferry companies, Tarimar, Moby Lines, Blunavi and Corsica ferries, Sardinia ferries, all offering routes between Piombino and Porto Ferreo, the capital located in the north, Cavo, Rio Marina, and Porto Azuro on the east coast of the island. There is an airport on the island, Marina di Campo Airport. It is served by Skywork Airlines and Silver Air with flights to the Italian mainland in Switzerland. The island has a network of trails for road racers looking for more technical routes for their training, trails and dirt roads for bikers to have fun on, and accessible routes for families with children who need safe and relaxing routes. On the road from Rio Nelelbe going to Porto Azuro is the Fonte di Capi. Towards the end of his career Fausto Coppi, the Campionissimo, came here to train on the roads of Elba. He still retained a celebrity status but was no longer at the peak of his career that ended with his death a few years later. The plaque on the fountain reads, 1960-2010, here the champion quenched his thirst, since 50 years on the run. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.